Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Nidhi Taneja. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 25th of October. At least 60 killed in twin suicide attacks on police academy in Pakistan's Quetta city. Carnival showcasing tribal culture across India kicks off in New Delhi. And schools in border areas of Indian Kashmir shut down after fresh firing. And now for all the details. People in Pakistan are struggling to cope with the tragedy that befell upon them on Monday night after twin suicide attacks killed at least 60 people. A report. Funerals were held for the victims of the attack on a police academy in the Pakistan city of Quetta. Security forces kept tight vigil across Quetta city a day after three terrorists stormed a police training center. More than 200 trainees were stationed at the facility when the strike occurred late on Monday and some were taken hostage during the attack which lasted five hours. While two attackers blew themselves up, the third one was shot dead by security personnel. Most of the victims were police cadets. Over 100 injured are being treated in the hospital. People from across the country condemned the attack. बहुत बड़ी दुख की बात है जैसे पता चला है सदमा सा आया पाकिस्तानियों को तो इसकी हम भरपूर मजम्मत करेंगे और हमारी फोर्सेस पूरी आम पाकिस्तानी फोर्सेस के साथ खड़ी है इस वक्त वाइल द इस्लामिक स्टेट हैज क्लेम्ड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी फॉर द अटैक अथॉरिटीज सेड दैट कॉल्स इंटरसेप्टेड बिटवीन द अटैकर्स एंड देयर हैंडलर्स सजेस्टेड टेररिस्ट्स बिलोंग टू द सेक्टेरियन मिलिटेंट ग्रुप लश्करे जांगवी Monday night's assault is the deadliest in Pakistan since a suicide bomber killed at least 70 people in an attack on mourners gathered at a hospital in the city in August. Moving on to news from India. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the National Tribal Carnival 2016 at the national capital New Delhi on Tuesday. The carnival showcasing various facets of tribal culture is aimed at promoting a sense of inclusiveness among the tribals. The carnival will highlight tribal culture, traditions and skills to the general public for the holistic development of the scheduled tribes. More than 1,600 tribal artists and around 8,000 tribal delegates from across the country are expected to participate in the event. Persisting water woes is making life difficult for people in Gilgit, Baltistan. Absence of filtration plants has led people to consume contaminated water. The Gilgit River, a tributary of the Indus River, flows through the heart of Gilgit. It is one of the major sources of water supply in the region. But due to lack of a proper sewage disposal and drainage system, the river is getting polluted as the household and industrial waste is being dumped in it. Locals allege water treatment plants in the illegally occupied region have remained dysfunctional. तो कई दहाइयों पहले यहाँ पर वाटर फिल्ट्रेशन प्लांट तो लाग लगाया गया कई सालों पहले लेकिन ताहल जो है वो वाटर फिल्ट्रेशन प्लांट्स जो हैं मुख्तलिफ मुकामात पर नाकारा पड़े रहे उनसे लोगों को पीने के साफ पानी की फ्राहमी मुमकिन नहीं हो सकी। As a result, there has been a rise in waterborne diseases reported among the people. Locals have to make do with water that has alarmingly high levels of turbidity in the absence of a filtration system. We are seeing that the Gilgit people are the most affected by the Gilgit people. They are the most affected by the Gilgit people. The Gilgit people are the most affected by the Gilgit people. Though abundant in water resources, people have to make do with contaminated water. Lack of government support and administrative failure has left the people of Gilgit-Baltistan to fend for themselves. 
Pro freedom Baloch and Sindhi activists have been protesting against the China Pakistan Economic Corridor or CPEC and the human rights violations by Pakistan in southwestern Balochistan province and other regions. But their efforts seem to least affect Pakistan as Islamabad steps up measures to construct the multi billion dollar project. Human rights and political activists in Brussels city of Belgium held a conference to highlight the serious implications of the multi-billion dollar China-Pakistan Economic Corridor or the CPEC in Balochistan province and other illegally occupied regions by Pakistan. Activists from Balochistan, Sindh and Pakistan-administered Kashmir also participated in the event, organized by Paris-based Baloch Voice Association. Pro-freedom Baloch and Sindhi activists for months now have been protesting for a common purpose to bring to a halt the CPEC activities and preventing gross human rights violations in their regions. The CPEC is a Pakistan and China is an army aggressive country which is in the whole country, which is in the whole country, which is in the whole country. और पॉलिटिकली इसमें जो है वो एक तनाव रहेगा। बलोच एंड सिंधी एक्टिविस्ट्स क्लेम द प्रोजेक्ट इस एक्सप्लोइटेशन ऑफ देयर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस व्हिच वुड ओनली बेनिफिट द आउटसाइडर्स। वी ज्वाइंटली सेंट अ मैसेज टू द स्टेट दैट वी पीपल वी डू नॉट वांट योर दिस डिजाइन्स and we also sent a message to international communities that look how this islamic state of pakistan is suppressing us and how they are looting us and why they are killing our loved ones. The $51.5 billion economic pact has been projected as a major boost for the economy by the Pakistan government. But locals in Balochistan say they have not benefited a bit from the CPEC. Authorities in Rajori district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province on Tuesday ordered closure of schools near the border areas after Pakistani forces resumed heavy firing. The schools had reopened only last week after shelling briefly stopped from across the border. Six people were injured on Tuesday in fresh firing by Pakistani troops in Araspura sector. Tension between the two neighbours escalated sharply following Indian Army's surgical strikes across the border on September 29th. This came in response to the terror attack allegedly carried out by Pakistan-based militants on an army base in Uri sector of the province in which 19 Indian soldiers were killed. हमने डायरेक्शन के देखे रखी हैं कि अगर कोई वैसे हालात पैदा होते हैं तो इमीडिएटली स्कूल बंद कर दो क्योंकि बच्चों की जान ज्यादा कीमती है और पढ़ाई जो है वो किसी दूसरी जगह भी की जा सकती है। To spice up his job, a man in southern India has been providing a unique form of hair cutting. What he is doing has become the talk of the town. Customers are making a beeline in front of a men's salon in Gulbarga district of India's southern Karnataka province. This salon provides a unique haircut. Instead of scissors, the barber uses candlelight to trim the hair of his customers. Dashrath, the barber, has been doing this for the last five to six years. और इसमें साइड इफेक्ट कुछ नहीं है। शुरुआत में जो है थोड़ी तकलीफ है। उसके बाद फिर मैं कटिंग किया, तो मुझे अच्छा लगने लगा। और इसमें कोई साइड इफेक्ट नहीं है। कैंडल से बड़ा मजा आता है। हेयर स्टाइल बहुत बड़े अच्छे बैठते हैं। The idea struck him one fine day when the power went out and he thought of shearing the hair with candlelight. His customers agreed to the proposition and since then, Dashrath has been continuing with the method. People in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir gathered to celebrate 400 years of a king's accession to the throne in Ladakh region. The festival was aimed at highlighting the glorious past of the region. Hundreds of people in Leh city of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province 
participated in Ladakh Palgam Tustan Festival to celebrate 400 years of King Singhe Namgyal's accession to the throne. Singhe Namgyal was a 17th century king who worked extensively to develop and expand the Ladakh region. Also known as the Lion King, Namgyal worked to restore old glory of Ladakh through an ambitious and energetic building program. He built the famous Leh Palace and reconstructed several gompas or Buddhist ecclesiastical fortifications. और जितने भी हमारे जो जो इंटेलेक्चुअल्स हैं उन्होंने आज के दिन के बारे में जैसे महाराजा सिंगे नमगल के बारे में लमा स्तक्षण के बारे में और जो हमारा आर्टिस्ट नमचे नमकास पलमून के बारे में बताया मुझे लगता है जितना मुझे भी नहीं पता था कि इनके बारे में इतना तो मुझे लगता है कि हमारा जो जो मोटिव है आने वाले जनरेशन को लदा के हिस्ट्री के बारे में बताने का वो कामयाब हो रहा है The festival was organized by the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council or LAHDC with an aim to create awareness about the history of Ladakh region. Cultural performances were also held during the festival. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. At least 60 killed in twin suicide attacks on police academy in Pakistan's Quetta city. Carnival showcasing tribal culture across India kicks off in New Delhi. And schools and border areas of Indian Kashmir shut down after fresh firing. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com slash sasianewsline and follow us on twitter at sasianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.